Hi everyone, Krista here with PK1HomeschoolFun.com and I'm introducing my second printable out of my printables pack for first grade math. So this is uh, my place value mat. Um, it's a double sided printable so you can just print it on two sides. Um, and I made this to be more of like an intro, the first side more of like an introductory tool to introduce the concept of place value. So this mat I have laminated, so I've got the glare there. So this mat I've laminated, um, you can put it in a sheet protector or you can put it in one of those um, laminating pouches. I'm not quite sure what they're called, but I think I have a link on <laughs> the product that I'm thinking of on my blog here. Um, so this, like I said, is really to help you teach the concept of place value. Um, and this really came out of a need that I had with my daughter. She was just struggling with the idea of place value. So, you know, we had a number and then we needed to work on that number to figure out um, the tens and ones. Um, we haven't started hundreds for her. So, so basically she can put, hopefully I'm writing this the right way. Um, is it right? Okay, that's right. Okay, so she can write the number there and then start working on it. Now, I always wanted the base 10 blocks and for some reason I just have always felt like they're too expensive and maybe they're not, but I don't know, we're independent homeschoolers, so we have to pay for everything ourselves, so it just feels like a lot. So anyways, I found um, some free clip art for the, the base 10 uh, blocks here. So anyway, so she can do this and, you know, come with her five tens and then her four little ones here. And then some for some reason, just the, the concept of, of writing the number here, building it with the blocks, and then rewriting it on her worksheet. Um, we do Horizons Math. And, um, you know, they have a lot of questions for her kindergarten math. And then, of course, first grade, she's going into the hundreds. Just that, for some reason, that process of writing the number, building the number, then writing the number again um, in the tens and ones column really helped her solidify that idea of place value. And she was struggling with it for a really long time. And then we just worked it out like this. And, you know, within a couple of days of working on it, she just, it just clicked. And she said, Mom, I don't need my chart anymore. I'm like, well, thanks. I just made this for you. But um, that's totally fine. Of course, we'll get some more use out of it when we do the hundreds. So I made this to kind of teach the concept. And then, um, erase that. And then on the back side, this was more of just like kind of a worksheet. So once I figured once she has the concept down, um, then she can write in, um, write in some of her numbers on these frames here and just kind of do some more practice writing it in the tens and ones columns and then of course there's some for the hundreds. So um, this particular printable really came out of a need that I had with my um, kindergartner um, and so I kind of built it or created it for her learning style so hopefully um, somebody out there will find it useful. Uh, I think it's helpful at least to present the idea and to start teaching um, the, the place value ideas. Anyway, I hope you uh, have a need for this and somebody out there finds this useful. Um, go ahead and check out day one of my five day hopscotch for the hundreds chart. Um, sorry, I was looking for it so I could show you. Um, the hundreds chart is uh, the, the day one printable. And then uh, tomorrow for the day three printable, I have another place value. It's a place value, I'll tell you now, it's a place value flip book. So that one's really fun um, and pretty easy to put together, which is kind of neat. So uh, come back tomorrow and um, snack some more free printables. Thanks a lot.